Hey everybody, Vanessa and Aria here, and Aria is six months old. Right, baby? Um, I just watched some of the early videos and was like, she was so little and now she's so big. It goes so fast. Um, oh, my little girl. Anyway, six months. Um, yeah, it's like a whole other, whole other world compared to the first. I just watched month one. I was like, holy cow. Um, anyway, so she went for her six-month checkup. Um, she's doing great. She's big now. She's 15 pounds, right? Solid, which actually is. She's in like the 50th percentile, and then she's like 28 inches, which is super long. Um, she's a tall girl. And she looks so different than she did when she was a little tiny, teeny five-week-old. Um, but she is continuing to do great and has big personality. Um, she's gotten to the point where she's, you know, rolling over and, um, she can't roll herself back. So we're working on that because you like to scream in the middle of the night when you get stuck on your belly, right? But for the most part, actually, she's sleeping through the night. Over the last week, she's been sleeping like from 7.30 to 7, 7.30, again, like almost 12 hours a night, which we love, right? Kudos to you, baby. Um... What else? She is eating solids more and more. They told me that she can eat just about anything. The pediatrician said, you know, obviously you're not going to go give the baby chips and salsa, but, you know, she can start to eat some, some ground meat, pureed. Um, I skipped the whole buying a baby food maker and just steam things and put them in the blender, which works just fine. I'm looking a mess this morning. I just decided to do this without showering or anything and the washing machine's going off in the other room um so anyway she can eat um she still has a sensitive stomach she has had digestive issues since day one so we you know are skipping the broccoli and the the pureed um so, some other gassy vegetables like there's not going to be any corn there's not going to be her broccoli for a while also bananas are binding she has a little constipation here and there, so we don't do bananas, but we're doing apples and pears, and we did a little mango and oatmeal, and um, we're going to try a little beef, maybe a little turkey meat or something, because I just made some turkey burgers last night and, and sauteed on the side hers very plain to try and give her today, so that'll be a new introduction. Yeah. Um, but you can look online, there's a ton uh, of, you know... If you just Google Baby's First Foods, there's a ton of suggestions on what to give them, what not to give them. But for her, she's been cleared on a lot um, as far as, like, what we can be giving her. She's starting to talk a little. Say hi. <laughs> um, she fortunately is not screaming so much. Like, last month, she discovered her voice and would do this really, like, high-pitched sound. Now she just, like, babbles and talks, especially when she's happy. Um, but she's been great. Um, six month other milestones. Let's see. I mean, she again, not a milestone, but at her um, checkup had her two shots. This time she dealt with it much better than she had in past. She still was cranky that day, but um, maybe it's because she's bigger. Maybe because it's only two shots instead of three plus the oral vaccination. But she handled it much better, which I was glad about because I was about to ask the doctor if she could only you know, we could start to spread the shots out and not give them three at once, but, you know, one, one visit, then come back in a couple of weeks and blah, and another, and then the third. But this one was two, and she handled it much better. We're still waiting for her to grow some hair so she doesn't look like a boy, because sometimes people think she's a boy if she's not in pink, and I'm not pink crazy, as you can see by her pajamas. She just woke up. Um, what else can we say? Um, I don't know. We're going to start doing baby yoga. I have yet to do the, the mommy and me yoga classes, but um, that's on the list for this month, so I'll let you know how that goes. I think the biggest things with month six are, you know, they're just grow. Are you talking? Are you talking? What are you saying? They're just growing and having more and more personality. Um, every baby's different, so if your baby is not rolling, um, you know, her friends, um, I can see kind of, you know, where other six-month-olds are because we have playgroups. So, like, her friend Daisy is a couple weeks older than her and was eating before she was. Now she's eating great, but she was spitting food out the first few times. 
Um, but now she takes it down like a champ, and I told her to watch Daisy because Daisy was eating like a killer. Daisy, too, the other day I noticed it was on her belly forever and would push herself up, which most six months old are doing. Aria still gets frustrated on her belly. She starts to, but she's a little, well, you're not behind. You're just doing it at your own pace. Um, you know, so don't get overly concerned. You know, you can read things online just kicking the camera. Yeah, you're very active. You're very long. Um, you can read things online where your baby, you know, should be at what time, but don't go crazy. <laughs> Biggest thing is talk to your pediatrician and see what they have to say about it all. Um, but they start to sit up assisted at six months. You can see here we are, baby, sitting up, <laughs> looking at the camera. Oh, she loves the camera. The light's coming in that side, so maybe we'll do this side. There you go. Um, you know, their neck strength obviously is getting better. We have her in the jumper quite often. She loves that. Right, baby? And she likes the camera. Um, but you want to, at some stage, you want to assist them, obviously, when they're still this age. And they also can be, now, they start to, excuse me, sit forward, and she'll put her hands down on my legs. Well, she sometimes will. Um, there we go. Um... But you still want to continue to let them do their tummy time and get their exercise for their neck or have them sitting up or in the jumper or whatever else. Aria wants to go now. So this is actually kind of long anyway. Um, but yeah, doing great. And hopefully you're feeling good now. You should be back to normal pretty much almost. Again, that's another thing. Everybody heals differently. Um, so, I mean, hopefully you're feeling good. You're exercising regularly and whatnot, um, and you're back to normal. And if you're not, of course, see your doctor uh, if you're still having some issues. Because I have had friends who, you know, had issues for quite some time after having a baby or didn't get exactly back to where they were. Um, but enjoy it, because this is, like, I think the most fun. They're not crawling yet, so you're not chasing them around the house, but they still have plenty of personality and um, like to play, lay your feet, and um, yeah, we're doing great. So we'll uh, see you in month seven. Say bye, R. Say bye.